Alright, hello and welcome back to the Steins Gate to the Steins Gate Visual Novel. My name is Gamer Guy for you. And let us continue on. We're back focusing on the um, satellite crash. So <clears throat> we have to do this in a female voice. So let us continue on. Alright, so female reporter. Gotta get into character. Gotta find that girly voice. In an interview earlier today, Michael Byrne, spokesman for NASA, stated, mm. She continues, that no satellite had crashed in Japan and that the crashed object was, in fact, not even a satellite. Hmm. She continues, The satellite is currently under police investigation. No date for removal has been set. Is it really under investigation? This could be another plot by the organization. It do appear as we have mail. Let's check it out. Who from? Who from? Let's guess. Let's guess. Is it the reply from Ferris? No, it's part-time warrior. All right, Suzu. <clears throat> part-time warrior hungry. I'm so hungry, I had to skip breakfast again today. I don't have much money on hand. Are there any good places to find insects or weeds around here? I can get by, I can get by using my survival skills if I have to. Good gosh. Uh, let's see what the reply is. You eat insects? Hardcore. Survival skill. What kind of chant did you have? Um, let's go with that one. It's more information driven. Alright. So we're awaiting a reply from Ferris and part-time warrior. I like how that's all implemented. It's very good. Oh. Tuturu Mary. Good morning. Oh wait, should I say good afternoon? So we're back at the lab. I like the background art. Very interesting. The door unlocks from outside and Mayuri comes in. She has a convenience store bag in hand. There are various food items inside, but it doesn't look like they are for, like they are for us. <laughs> Mary says, "Woo! The air in here is so thick." The three of us probably look pretty haggard since we stayed up all night. But it's hard to put on a bright smile now that I know about CERN. Mary says, I'll refresh the air. What did she bring? Oh. Mary opens the window wide. Probably those ones there. It almost looks like they're at different heights, but it's because this stuff is in the way. The sky is so blue, it hurts my eyes. Large clouds listlessly drift on the wind. Hmm, never heard of listlessly before. It truly is a refreshing sight. Mayuri's appearance make, makes Daru get up with a grimace. Kurisu also finds moves away from the... Uh, uh. Kurisu also finally moves away from the computer. 
sipping her hot coffee while rubbing her eyes. I glance at the clock, then go to the center of the room and call for attention. Okabe says, Since all lab mems are present and accounted for, this is the perfect opportunity to hold another roundtable conference. Oh, Mary. Roundabout confluence. Dara says, What's that? Okabe says, a meeting of lab mems. Daru says, have we ever done that before? Kurisu says, do you even have a round table? Okabe says, not physically. However, it exists in all the hearts of all lab members. Am I mistaken? Kurisu says, Yes, you're mistaken. Don't go sticking things in people's hearts. Mayuri says, Is there one in Mayushi too? Okabe says, of course there is. Mayuri says, oh, that's good, but what's a roundable? Dara says, and why a round table? You King Arthur? Kurisu says, I'm only a temporary lab mem anyway. These people whine about every little thing. Looks rectangular to me. Anyhow. Okabe says, Anyway, it's a round table conference. Mary wasn't here last night, so first, let's explain the situation to her. It looks like he's got a Dr. P in his hand. Dr. Pepper. I tell Mayori about everything we discovered in her absence, which was cut from the text of the game to make it too long. Or to make it shorter, rather. About how CERN is making a time machine. About Jellymen. About how men in black might be coming to erase us for what we know. Mayuri says, said, I told you, you shouldn't do bad things. <laughs> Ogilvy says, <laughs> Bad, you say? We are bad? Absurd. Okabe continues, If we're bad, then CERN is even worse. They aren't satisfied with ruling the world. Now they want to get their hands on space-time itself. Kurisu says, I agree. For some reason, Kurisu backs me up. She continues, What CERN is doing is unforgivable. They're traitors to humanity, to society, and to science. Mayuri says, I guess... Look at her eating a... What is it, an egg roll? 
She doesn't sound convinced. I didn't want to get Mary involved, but she's surprisingly perceptive. She'd find out even if we kept it a secret, so it's better to just tell her. Okabe says, Anyway, Ragnarok can no longer be averted. The final battle with CERN is near. A large part of me is still afraid, but we've come too far to turn back now. We can't unlearn what we knew. Yuri says, Rag in a rock. <laughs> Croesus says, North mythology again. Okay, Hokabe says, Christina, I ordered you to investigate CERN. What have you learned? Risa says, I don't remember being ordered, but whatever. She continues, there are two problems CERN faces with time travel. She continues, first is the electron injection device, also known as a lifter. She continues. Un unless they get it to function properly, they can't make the care black hole singularities naked. She continues. If you send a test subject through the singularity in its current state, the supergravity compresses them to the micro level. Naturally, there's no way to survive this. Or there's no there's no way to survive. She continues. The second problem is that they can't specify a physical destination. They can't choose where they end up after traveling to the past. It's good that they have problems with it, yeah. Jeez. 各地で見つかっている14人のゼリーマンはむしろ運がいい方だったと言うべき。She continues. That's why I'd say the 14 found jelly men were the lucky ones. Wow, lucky. Jeez. 人体実験は2001年から100回以上行われていた。つまり残りの80人以上はどこへ飛ばされたのかすら確認できていないということ。Jeez. She continues. Over a hundred human experiments have been performed since 2001. The remaining 80 or so people ended up somewhere they can't be found. That's disturbing. Mayuri says, why can't they be found? Dara says, didn't you know, Mayushi? The world is constantly moving. Its rotational speed is 1,500 kilometers per hour, and its orbital speed is 114,000 kilometers per hour. But he's interrupted. Daru's, to Daru's tone is authoritative, but he's just relaying what he heard from Kurisu last night. Kurisu says, CERN has been looking for solutions, but it's not going well. So even CERN is having difficulties. Okabe says, Now then, have you learned anything that could help us complete the phone wave name subject to change? Croesus says, Hmm. 
Carissa stares at the ceiling in thought. Carissa says, Well, I suppose you could call the LHC the world's largest microwave oven. And we're out of time, though. So stay tuned until next time. So thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for more of the Steinsgate visual novel. I will see you up ahead. Take her cool.